Okay, this is the Amplitude Modulation Tutorial, or AM, as we'll shorten it down to. Um, you can find this tutorial on page 70 of the Mexin Manual. And we're just going to walk through it step by step here and give you a video visual to go along with it. Uh, amplitude Modulation is the process of modulating the amplitude of one waveform by the amplitude of another waveform. When you modulate the amplitude of one oscillator, which is the carrier, with the output from another oscillator, the modulator, the output amplitude is a combination of the two, which is determined by the modulation ratio. Uh, for example, if you are using a sine wave with a frequency of 200 hertz to control the amplitude of a sine wave with a frequency of 800 hertz, the output would be a sound that is a mix of three sine waves, and that's one at 600 hertz, one at 800 hertz, and one at 1000 hertz. If you start to use more complex sounds, uh, your output sound will, of course, be more complex. So what we're going to do is we're going to use amplitude modulation to make a preset called Electro Bell. So we have Nexon open, of course, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to go into the preset browser view. We're going to go to the directory called Tutorials. And we're going to open the empty preset. And this preset, again, is pretty much empty. It doesn't have any modules. It's good for sound design. So after we've done that, let's go ahead and save it real quick. We'll just give it the name Electro Bell. And we'll save that. And then we're going to go back into the edit view to go back to the interface. We're going to open up Oscillator 2 and the Amp Envelope Oscillator 1 is already open. It's called for in this tutorial. Um, and now we're just going to make some changes to the modules. And, uh, and we'll start building our sound from here. Uh, oscillator 1, we're going to turn Stereo on. We're going to turn Keysync off. We're going to set the waveform to be Sine 3-odd. And we'll just click the Type pull down. We're going to, as you can see, we've got all the various uh, waveforms that we can choose from here. In this case, we're going to go ahead and use the odd harmonics, and we're going to click sine 3 odd. We're going to set the amplitude modulation to 127. We can do that by just turning the knob, or if we want, we can click in the value box underneath the knob and type in the value that we want to go with. Uh, next, we're going to change oscillator 2. We're going to turn the key sync off. We're going to turn stereo on. We're going to set the waveform to be sine plus 2. That's located under all harmonics. And we can just go to all harmonics, click sine plus 2. And scale, we're going to turn off. Usually scale is set to full. We're going to turn it off in this case. Next, on the amp envelope, we're going to not make, make many changes here. We're going to leave the delay at zero. We're going to set the attack to zero. The hold's going to stay at zero. The sustain, we're going to turn down to zero. The decay, we're going to set to 72. And the release, we're going to set to 72. Then we're going to open up the expert section of the amp envelope module. We can do that just by clicking Expert, and under there, we're going to set the time tracking key to 42. Again, we can do that by just clicking the numbers in. And we've pretty much built our sound from there. Um, what we can do now is play it and try changing the AM knob on oscillator 1 and we can see how we can change the sound by using amplitude modulation to do just that. Well, let's play that real quick. changing the amplitude modulation changes the sound of this preset. We can give it a little more power, make it a little more crispy if we turn the FM up a little bit. sound 
that you're looking for. Um, you can do a lot of different things to this. You can add a high pass filter to the sound and uh, sort of start changing it from there. That'll give you a much more ambient type of sound. Um, you can uh, add any number of filters, obviously, to the sound. And uh, you could also try out using different waveforms with both of these oscillators. You could, uh, you could change and use some odd harmonics, sine waves, uh, on oscillator 2. So you can see that there's really a lot of things that you can do with very little in Nexon, and uh, I hope that this tutorial helps you out, and uh, feel free to leave us some comments, let us know what you think, and if there's anything that you have a question about, make sure to send us a support email. You can get a hold of us at support at key2sound.com, and check out our website at key2sound.com. If you haven't already downloaded a demo of Nexon, please do so, and give it a swing and let us know what you think. Thanks.